Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Okay, today we are going to um, proceed to our calculation. Okay, for chapter 10, which is about quality control. Okay, so please refer to page 186. Okay, 186 or uh, example number 1. Okay, uh, example number 1. Actually, uh, calculation for this topic is very simple okay you need to follow all the steps that I will uh, tell you later okay um, so before we start our calculation let we uh, let's we read first the question okay so uh, for example one okay the easy IT company manufactures portable pen drive. Okay, this product being produced in 10 batch every week. The company wants to monitor the quality of this pen drive using P chart. Okay, 10 sample each containing 50 pen drive has been have been inspected and the result of which are as follows okay so the question will give you the table okay one table okay ah tu dalam ah okay one table kan ah dia akan bagi satu table uh, two columns okay consists of sample and also defectives okay dua je dia akan bagi Sample satu, satu lagi defektif. So now, based on the above information, develop a P chart. Okay, develop a P chart with Z value equals to 3. Okay, Z value equals to 3. Is the process under control? Explain your answer. Soalan dia macam tu je kelas. Okay, simple saja. Dia suruh you all build, uh, develop a P chart. Okay, but you need to follow a several step before you uh, construct the P chart. Okay, so when you read the question, you need to find out three important information that stated by information. Eh, sorry, but stat, uh, stated by the question. Okay, the question will give you three important information. You need to jot down all this information because before because you will use this information to uh, proceed your calculation. Okay, do you understand class? Okay, so, so company ni, kan, company tadi dia kata Easy IT company ni dia mengeluarkan Uh, pen drive kan ha, Dia mengeluarkan pen drive Dan cara untuk dia mengawal Kualiti dia dengan menggunakan P chart okay? Macam saya bagi tahu dalam kuat dalam uh, teori uh, Salah satu cara yang kita Boleh guna untuk Kontrol uh, kita punya quality of our products By using P chart So 10 sample Okay Ha, have been chosen So 10 sampel telah diambil oleh company Untuk mengawal Untuk check dia punya Kualiti ok ataupun ti, tidak So satu uh, So dia kata 10 samples Each containing 50 pen drive Ok so tadi saya kata 3 important important information given by the question the first one is you need to jot down number one okay number one is number of sample okay you need to find out number of sample so number of sample dia akan bagi tahu dalam soalan So, you kena cari. Ha, mudahnya ialah dalam table ni kelas. Okay, dalam table ni dah bagi dah number of sample which is 10. Ha, so, 10. 10 samples. Okay, 10 samples. The second information is number 2. 
you need to find out sample size. Okay, sample size. Okay, so number of sample we consider as N. N besar. Okay, dalam teori saya bagi tahu kan. Number of sample N. Okay, N besar. Capital letters. Okay. <coughs> Number two is sample size. Sample size equals to 50 pen drive. That is sample size. Sample size ni maksudnya satu uh, sample mewakili 50 pen drive. So, 50 pen drive. 50. So 50 kita buat dia n. Ha, dia punya dia punya simbol for the sample size is n kecil. Ah n kecil. Okay. The third information is z value. Okay z value. Okay remember class sometimes in question okay. Uh, Z value will be given by the question But sometimes dia tak bagi So bila dia tak bagi Dia akan bagi tahu percentage of Z value sahaja Macam saya explain dalam teori kan Kita ada tiga Z value So you kena ingat percentage dia tu berapa And then you kena convert kepada Z value sendiri ha, Faham tak? So maksudnya Z values dalam soalan ni dia bagi Dia kata develop a P chart with Z value equals to 3. So, Z equals to 3. Ha, so, 3. Ha. 3. Nampak tak? Ha. So, all these three important items or information you will use in your calculation after this. Okay? Ah, So, first remember class. When you read the question... Okay, jot down, write down three important information given in question. Okay, ah, so list down dulu tiga. You kena cari and then list down dulu. Sebab semua benda tiga ni, kita akan guna uh, dalam calculation nanti. Okay, so number satu ialah number of sample. Okay, dalam soalan dia bagi. Yang kedua, sample size. Number three, number three is Z value. Okay, so finish. So finish for the important information. Okay. Ha, this is first step. Ingat tu. First step. After you read the question, find out important information. Okay. Ha, so finish. So, second step, okay? You need to follow my step, okay? When you want to answer the question. So, number two. Question, uh, step number two, okay? You need to copy back the question, which is, okay, this one class. Ah, table ni, table ni, kan? Ah, you, you need to copy back the table dalam kertas awak lah, dalam kertas jawapan awak, okay? Salin balik table, Salin balik table. Okay. Ha, kenapa saya buat tiga? Okay. So, you kena salin balik table yang dia bagi. Okay. Copy back the table. And then, you need to add one column. Okay. One column at the right side. Okay, satu kolom. Tambah satu lagi kolom. Okay. Okay, so you copy back the the, 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 the table. So, samples.
Okay. Nampak tak? Ha. You kena salin balik table. Copy back the table. Okay. Sample. And also defective. Kan? Ha. Sebiji sama you copy yang ni. Okay. And then you need to add one column. At the right side. Okay. Sebelah defective ni. You kena salin. Uh, sorry. Tambah satu lagi table. Untuk fraction defection. Nak cari fraction defection. Ha. Okay. This one class. Nak cari fraction defection. Ha. Saya tunjuk dekat eh. Okay. Sample. Okay. Sample. Kita tambah. Kita kita copy back sample. Lepas tu defective. And you need to add column for fraction defection. Okay. Nak cari fraction defection. Ha. Pecahan uh, kepada sample-sample uh, yang roh rosak. Okay. So now. After you copy back the table, this is the second step. Okay? Second step, copy back the table and then find, uh, add one column. Second step. Okay? Second step. So, third step, you need to find out. Okay, this one is third step. Fraction defection. Okay? Fraction defection, which is uh, P. Ha. Fraction defection ialah P kita kelas. Ha. Cuba you refer balik dekat kita punya um, formula kan. Cuba you tengok dekat kita punya formula page 185. So, kita ada cari kan. Dia kata compute a fr the fraction of unit defective. Ha. Tu ialah fraction defection. Ha, okay. So, the formula is P. Nampak tak? P equals to X divided by N. Ha, you kena cari step number 3, kena cari fraction defection. So, P equals to X divided by N. So, P ialah fraction defection. X ialah. Ni, X kita. Number of defective. Number of defective. N ialah sample. Number of sample kita. Ni, class. This one. Okay. Ah. So, Eh, sorry ke? Sorry. Okay. Okay, so now. N is sample size. Sorry, sample. Sample size. Ha, X ialah number of defective. Ha. So, so, when you want to find out the fraction defection, okay, you need to divide X, X divided by N, sample size. So, this is X, so, 3 divided by 50, 1 divided by 50, 2 divided by 50. Okay. 5 divided by 50. 3 divided by 50. 2 divided by 50. 6 divided by 50. 5 divided by 50. 14 divided by 50. 3 divided by 50. Semua ni, okay, you kena bahagi dengan num sample size. Sample size kita tadi 50. 50 untuk satu uh, sampel kan. Ha, so, X divided by N. X kita ialah defective. Okay. Ha, so, calculate. 
Okay, so 3 divided by 550 equals to 0 0.06, okay, 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.10, 0 0.06, 0 0.04, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0.0, 0